Brought to you by wikivd.com Jamie Foxx Eric Marlon Bishop known professionally by his stage name Jamie Foxx is an American actor-singer, songwriter, musician, producer and comedian. He won an Academy Award for Best Actor BAFTA Award for Best Actor in a Leading Role and a Golden Globe Award for Best Actor in a Musical or Comedy for his portrayal of Ray Charles in the 2004 biographical film Ray. The same year he was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for his role in the crime film Collateral. As of spring 2017 Fox serves as host and executive producer of the new Fox game show Beach Shazam. Other prominent acting roles include Staff Sergeant Sykes in Jarhead, Record Executive Curtis Taylor Jr. in Dreamgirls, Detective Ricardo Tubbs in the 2006 film adaptation of TV series Miami Vice, the title role in the film Django Unchained the supervillain Electro in The Amazing Spider-Man 2, and Gangster Bats, Leon Jefferson 3 in Baby Driver. Fox also starred in the 1990-94 sketch comedy show In Living Color and his own television show. From 1996 to 2001 the sitcom The Jamie Foxx Show in which he played Jamie King Jr. Fox also starred in the 2014 film Annie in which he played Will Stacks. Fox is also a Grammy Award-winning musician producing four albums which have charted in the top 10 of the U.S. Billboard 200, Unpredictable, which topped the chart Intuition, Best Night of My Life and Hollywood, A Story of a Dozen Roses. Early Life Eric Marlon Bishop was born in Terrell, Texas on December 13, 1967. He is the son of Darrell Bishop who sometimes worked as a stockbroker and Louise Annette Halley Dixon. Shortly after his birth Fox was adopted and raised by his mother's adoptive parents Esther Marie a domestic worker and nursery operator, and Mark Talley a yard worker. He has had little contact with his birth parents, who were not part of his upbringing. Fox was raised in the Black Quarter of Terrell which, at the time, was a racially segregated community. He has often acknowledged his grandmother's influence in his life as one of the greatest reasons for his success. Fox began playing the piano when he was five years old. He had a strict Baptist upbringing and as a teenager he was a part-time pianist and choir leader in Terrell's New Hope Baptist Church. His natural talent for telling jokes was already in evidence as a third grader when his teacher would use him as a reward, if the class behaved Fox would tell them jokes. Fox attended Terrell High School where he received top grades and played basketball and football. His ambition was to play for the Dallas Cowboys, and he was the first player in the school's history to pass for more than 1,000 yards. He also sang in a band called Leather and Lace. After completing high school, Fox received a scholarship to United States International University, where he studied classical music and composition. 1989-2003 Beginnings and Acting Debut Fox first told jokes at a comedy club's open mic night in 1989, after accepting a girlfriend's there, when he found that female comedians were often called first. To perform he changed his name to Jamie Foxx feeling that it was a name ambiguous enough to disallow any biases. He chose his surname as a tribute to the black comedian Red Fox. Fox joined the cast of In Living Color in 1991, where his recurrent character Wanda also shared a name with Red's friend and co-worker, Lauranda Page. Following a recurring role in the comedy-drama sitcom Rock Fox went on to star in his own sitcom The Jamie Fox Show from 1996 to 2001. Fox made his film debut in the 1992 comedy Toys, 
His first dramatic role came in Oliver Stone's 1999 film Any Given Sunday, where he was cast as a hard-partying American football player partly because of his own football background. In 2001, Fox starred opposite Will Smith in Michael Mann's biographical drama Alley. Three years later, Fox played taxi driver Max Durocker in the film Collateral alongside Tom Cruise, for which he received outstanding reviews and a nomination for the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. In 1994 Fox released an album entitled Peep This, which was not commercially successful. In 2003 Fox made a cameo in Benzino's music video for Woody which features Lisa I. McCoy and Mario Winans. 2003-2006, Ray Unpredictable and Dream Girls. In 2003 Fox featured on the rapper Twister's song Slow Jams together with Kanye West which reached on the US Billboard Hot 100 Singles Chart and on the UK Singles Chart. His second collaboration with Kanye West Gold Digger, in which Fox sang the Ray Charles-influenced I Got a Woman hook then went straight to on the Billboard Hot 100 remaining there for 10 weeks. In 2005, Fox featured on the single Georgia by Atlanta rappers Ludacris and Field Mob which sampled Ray Charles's hit Georgia on My Mind. Fox would also portray Ray Charles in the biographical film Ray, for which he won the Academy Award for Best Actor and the BAFTA Award for Best Actor in a Leading Role. Fox is the second male in history to receive two acting Oscar nominations in the same year for two different movies Collateral and Ray. In 2005, Fox was invited to join the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. Fox released his second studio album Unpredictable in December 2005. It debuted at selling 598,000 copies in its first week rising to the following week and selling an additional 200,000 copies. To date, the album has sold 1.98 million copies in the United States and was certified double platinum by the RIAA. The album also charted on the UK Albums Chart where it peaked at. Fox became the fourth artist to have both won an Academy Award for an acting role and to have achieved a album in the US joining Frank Sinatra, Bing Crosby and Barbara Streisand. Fox's first single from the album the title track Unpredictable peaked in the Billboard Hot 100 Top 10 Singles and also made the UK Top 20 Singles Chart. The track samples Wildflower by New Birth. The second US single from the album was DJ Play a Love Song which reunited Fox with Twister. In the UK the second single was Extravaganza which saw Fox once again collaborate with Kanye West, although Fox did not feature in the song's music video. At the 2006 Black Entertainment Television Awards Fox won Best Duet collaboration with Kanye West for Gold Digger and tied with Mary J. Blige's Be Without You for Video of the Year. On December 8, 2006, Fox received four Grammy Award nominations, which included Best R for Love Changes featuring Mary J. Blige, Best R by a duo, a group for Georgia by Ludacris, and Best Rap sung collaboration for Unpredictable featuring Ludacris. Following on from these successes, Fox went on to appear in the box office hit Jarhead Miami Vice and Dreamgirls which lifted his profile even higher as a bankable star in Hollywood. 2007-2009 Intuition 2007 brought him the lead role in the action thriller film The Kingdom opposite Chris Cooper, Jason Bateman, Jennifer Garner and Ashraf Barham. In September 2007, Fox was awarded a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. It was one of the most amazing days of my life, said Fox.
In April 2009, Fox played the lead role in the dramatic film The Soloist. A few months later in October 2009, he played a starring role alongside Gerard Butler in the thriller Law Abiding Citizen. Fox released his third album titled Intuition in 2008 featuring Kanye West, Tiny Yo Lil, Kim, and T-Pain. The album's first single Just Like Me featuring T.I. was promoted by a video directed by Brett Ratner which featured an appearance by actress Taraji P. Henson. The second single, Blame It featured T-Pain and became a top five single on the Billboard Hot 100 and a number one single on the Billboard Hot R, directed by Hype Williams features cameo appearances by Forrest Whitaker Samuel L. Jackson, Ron Howard Quincy Jones and his Jarhead co-star Jake Gyllenhaal amongst others. Fox's musical career has also included a number of collaborations. In 2007 he recorded the song she goes all the way with country superstars Rascal Flatts for their Still Feels Good album. Fox performed backing vocals for artist, songwriter Tank. He featured alongside The Dream on Please Please Excuse My Hands. He also appeared alongside Fabulous on the remix of New York's Miss Independent. Fox collaborated with rapper The Game on the track Around the World. Fox also featured on T.I.'s single, Live in the Sky from the album King. On January 22, 2007 Fox launched the Foxhole, a channel on Sirius satellite radio featuring talk radio programs, stand-up comedy albums, and music primarily by African-American performers as well as much of Fox's own material. Fox own talk radio variety program The Jamie Fox Show airs Friday evenings on the Foxhole, with guests including musicians, actors, and fellow comedians. Co hosts have included Johnny Mac, Speedy Claudia Jordan, the poetess Lewis Dix, Yvette Wilson, TDP, and Tyrone Turner. On the April 17, 2009 episode of The Jamie Foxx Show, Fox and his co-hosts made several sexually suggestive and disparaging jokes regarding the teenage singer Miley Cyrus. Several days later Fox issued a public apology on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno in response to growing public outcry and televised criticism by Cyrus' father country singer Billy Ray Cyrus. On April 6, 2009, Fox, a longtime fan of country music, performed the George Strait song, You Look So Good in Love at the George Strait Artist of the Decade All Star Concert. Jamie Foxx hosted the 2009 Bet Awards ceremony on June 28, 2009, which featured several tributes to pop star Michael Jackson, who had died three days prior to the show as well as performing Blame It with T-Pain and She Got Her Own with Neo and Fabulous Fox opened the show with a rendition of Jackson's Beat It Dance routine and closed the show with a cover of the Jackson 5's will be there with Neo. We want to celebrate this black man. He belongs to us and we shared him with everybody else, said Fox during the ceremony. 2010-2012, Best Night of My Life and Django Unchained. In April 2011, Fox voiced Nico Canary in the movie Rio. During the summer of 2011, Fox was involved as a producer in In the Flow with Affan Crockett on Fox. Fox released his fourth album Best Night of My Life on December 21, 2010 featuring the singles Win a living better now and fall for your type. On October the 7th, the RCA Music Group announced that it was disbanding J Records along with Arista Records and Jive Records, meaning that all artists previously signed to the three labels will release their future material on the RCA Records brand. In 2011, Jamie Foxx also featured on the rapper Pitbull's album Planet Pit in the song Where Do We Go? In 2012 Fox starred in the title role of the Quentin Tarantino written 
and directed Django Unchained. Fox starred alongside his Ray co-star Kerry Washington, as well as Christoph Waltz, Leonardo DiCaprio and Samuel L. Jackson. In an interview about Django Unchained, Fox told Vibe magazine, As a black person it's always racial. When I get home my other homies are like how was your day? Well I only had to be white for at least eight hours today, or I only had to be white for four hours. The filming was emotional as Fox said it's tough shooting when you're in Plantation Row. And that's where your ancestors were persecuted and killed. On November 25, 2012, at Bet's Soul Train Awards, Fox joked, It's like church in here. First of all giving honor to God and our Lord and Savior Barack Obama. The joke led to condemnation from some Christians. To which Fox responded, I'm a comic, and, sometimes I think people get a little too tight. While hosting Saturday Night Live on December 8, 2012 to promote Django Unchained, Fox joked about being excited to kill all the white people in the movie. Appearing at the 2013 NAACP Image Awards, Fox praised the achievements of black people, saying that black people are the most talented people in the world. 2013 present, White House, Down in Hollywood. In 2013, Fox was cast as President James Sawyer in White House, Down alongside Channing Tatum. The following year, Fox appeared in The Amazing Spider-Man 2 as the villain Electro and co-starred with Coovens and A. Wallace in Annie Sony's Will Smith, and Jay-Z produced update of the comic strip turned musical. Director Oliver Stone has also confirmed that Fox will play Martin Luther King Jr. in his upcoming Steven Spielberg, produced biopic, his October 2014 Deja Vu duet with Dionne Warwick appears on the Feels So Good album released by Warwick. Fox released his fifth studio album Hollywood, A Story of a Dozen Roses on May 18, 2015. It debuted atop the top R. Fox voice was featured in the chorus on the Ariana Grande song Focus. Beginning with its debut on May 25, 2017, Fox is now the host and executive producer of the Fox game show Beat Shazam which is described as a hip 21st century update of the popular mid to late 20th century ubiquitous radio and TV game show named The Tune. Three sets of two partners try to beat the computer Shazam, incorrectly identifying the titles of popular songs in the shortest amount of time in incrementally higher amounts of money with one team eventually vying for a potential prize of one million dollars. Legal Incident In April 2003 Fox was involved in an incident with two police officers who were attempting to escort him and his sister out of Harris Casino in New Orleans. Employees claimed the Fox party had failed to show identification upon entry. Originally charged with trespassing disturbing the peace battery on police officers and resisting arrest, Fox pleaded no contest to disturbing the peace in exchange for the other charges being dropped, and was sentenced to a six-month suspended jail term with two years of probation and a $1,500 fine. Personal Life Fox has two daughters, Corinne Bishop and Annalise. Corinne made her formal debut at the Balde debutante in November 2014 and was named Miss Golden Globe 2016 on November 18, 2015. In 2008 Fox filmed a public service announcement for the something to promote food drives in local communities. Fox has been involved in feuds with co-stars LL Cool J and Colin Farrell. On January 18, 2016 Fox rescued a young man from a burning vehicle that crashed outside his home. The driver Brett Kyle was driving his truck at a high rate of speed when the truck left the road traveled into a drainage ditch and rolled over multiple times. 
Kyle was arrested for driving under the influence of alcohol. Brought to you by Wikivd.com Would you like to know more?